Carnegie School of Sport has been a, a large part of my own personal and professional development. I've been here 15 years now. And I think I can speak from direct experience that I've experienced a number of institutions, particularly around how myself and others have been able to be nurtured and developed into you know, being the best people that we can be, whatever our pursuits, whatever our objectives. Over the 15 years I've been here, I've developed so much by being given the opportunities to work with certain people and certain organizations. So the people that uh, are drawn to Leeds Beckett and the Carnegie School of Sport really speaks volumes for the reputation it has. So within my role as a head of subject, I'm also given the privileged opportunity to uh, perform different roles and different functions depending on what the, the, what the need is. So not only am I a manager for other colleagues and other staff, I'm also a registered practitioner psychologist. So what I do get the opportunity to do is work with uh, our aspiring trainees, ensure that they're given the opportunities to develop and craft their skills in a really authentic environment. I'm also the to have the opportunity to work with our athletes, coaches, and other support staff in a really authentic and practical way, which is hugely fulfilling. So we're not um, members of staff who just work within classrooms. We work in really practical environments, and we can. Our, our, our emphasis in this course is to really share that with the leaders of sport organizations and ensure that they hear what we're doing, not because we're saying this is the best and only way to do it, but it's a really authentic thing that will allow leaders to be really challenged and think about why is it they do what they do and are there different things they need to consider in making decisions about how they work optimally. Transformative is a, is a great word actually to reflect the kind of environments and the kind of experiences we, we want to give our learners. And we do get a lot of feedback from people who come and spend time with us, whether they are our students at undergrad, postgrad and executive levels, um, or whether it's our partners and our, our clients who come and work with us because of the skills and the, the applied practice opportunities we, we, we work with them on. Um, so yeah, tra transformation rather than transaction is certainly not just a buzzword, but a way in which we try to live our day to day and, and, and perform our behaviours accordingly. Well, Carnegie School of Sport obviously has a, a rich history and a strong sporting reputation dating back to 1933 when it was first established as the Carnegie College of, of Physical Training. Um, and we've just continued to grow and, and embrace the history, but also recognizing the new innovative approaches um, in, in which we operate. We're a very inclusive in environment. We have multiple different disciplines that allow us to generate new knowledge, and um, a strong research centers in which we ad address the existing but also future problems that have really helped shape our um, student body and it has impacted our alumni. Alumni have benefited from that and now are, are now leaders in um, national and, and international um, sporting environments. We're also in a beautiful uh, campus in Headingley campus um, with fantastic facilities. We're in a 45 million pound state-of-the-art um, sport building and research center that allows new environments in which students will be able to um, be part of our wider community. We've seen some really pioneering data companies start off in Leeds and Leeds's place within the sports industry has gone quite understated compared to other cities. We can see the use of data and the importance of data um, in the sport, in sport industry now and we will be able to see that within this module and throughout this course as well. Um, and a lot of that started in Leeds, which Leeds needs to be really proud of. Carnegie School of Sport is renowned for influencing policy, practice through a number of things, through our research, through our curriculum and teaching, but also through our anchor institution. What do I mean by that? That we're involved at grassroots level, that we influence the way in which people think about sport and its place within society, how we influence policy to better practice or to improve the career prospects or the elite performance of individuals or equally associations that are operating within a sports context. So for me, our reach is global, but equally we really consider the local aspects and the regional and national uh, imperative of sport.